And Fletcher Brown, another artist video blog here on kicks96country.com. Please welcome for her first visit to kicks96country.com, Olivia Rose, how are you? Doing good. Thank you guys for having me today. I'm excited. Now, I'm going to say this. The first time I heard your single, Hell Raisin Kind of Heaven, um, I wasn't sure what to expect. I said, okay, Hell Raisin Kind of Heaven. Let's see uh, what this sounds like. Hit play, and then suddenly this guitar squeals into my face, and all of the sinews under the skin began to melt and pop and drift away. <laughs> and I realized that I was being attacked by music. And it was, it's so, it's the energy, um, the guitar uh, mastery of it. You've been playing for a really, really long time. Yeah, uh, I started playing when I was about 12. I remember getting my first guitar. It was a Fender Telecaster and it was burgundy. I named it Thorn. It's my favorite guitar. <laughs> She's get a guitar it? named Rose Thorn. Thorn. You don't get tougher than that. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, I hated playing, honestly. It was so hard for me to play, but my dad would come home every day and he's like, did you practice? Did you play? And I did. And I love it now. Mm -hmm. I, I thank him every day for it because it allowed me to express myself in so many ways. I love playing guitar. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. So you, you actually recorded your first album by the age of 15? Yeah, uh, I started writing since I was really little. Uh, playing guitar helped a lot. And I moved down to Nashville about five years ago or so, and we decided I'm ready. So we went in, and all the songs that I wrote and composed, we put into an album and started going. And it was one of the funnest times to be in studio. It was just so cool because something that you imagined and put to paper became a live product. Mm -hmm. It's the coolest thing to actually hear what you have in your head and everybody else can hear it too. Now as far as your your what brought you into music or the music that um, that you fell in love with uh, as a young person developing your own style, um, you say that you were pretty much raised with guitars, guns, and fishing poles, which is of course, you know, um, every <laughs> country boy's dream is a girl has been raised with guns, guitars, and fishing poles. Um, but you also have a deep love for classic rock and it definitely comes out in your music. Where did where did that come from? Where did, is that your dad? Yeah, actually, I'm wearing my Kiss t-shirt. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything, <laughs> you know, but it's like Kiss Army right here. Yeah, uh, which, speaking of, they're going back on tour with yeah, Motley Crue. With Motley Crue. So excited, counting down the days for it. Uh, but I was raised up on classic rock. My dad listened to Def Leppard. I, I was raised on Meatloaf. If I could play with anybody, I would love to play with him. Two out of three ain't bad. She <laughs> my favorite Meatloaf song. He's so amazing. Don't even get me started. Um, I remember listening to Def Leppard, Rolling Stones, you, you name it. And my mom listened to oldies music. Uh, we always listened to 60s, like the Turtles and the Monkeys oh, yeah. and Monkeys. stuff like that. And it was just so cool to have all these different influences coming in. I, I could tell you that there's no genre that I don't like. Obviously, I love it. Obviously, you were raised right. So we can say that she was raised <laughs> right. So, um, but then you decided uh, to pick up a guitar and do it yourself. Can I ask why? Why then? Why country? Well, okay, why country? I started writing and I couldn't figure out what my sound was, and I went back and forth. If you listen to my first album, it's super contrast. You have really pop songs, like pop country, and then you have really like rock and dark disturbing music and I did not know where it was coming from. Kind of like a teenage girl's diary. Yeah, okay. <laughs> precisely. And I always loved country, but I always wanted to be this rocker, like really punk person. And I had the streaks in my hair for a while. And once Jason Aldean and Brantley Gilbert started coming out and I'm like, that that's me. That That is my sound. That is just what I want to be. And it just started to develop from then on. And I was like, okay, this is, I love it. This is who I am. It's got a piece of Southern rock and it's got country in it and everybody's digging it so far. So it's, I hope that explained it because it, it's just amazing finding that sound. That's what spoke to you. Is yeah. that, that country sound, that, that Brantley Gilbert, Jason Aldean. She's proven that girls can rock country. Girls can rock country. We, they have, there's plenty of them out there doing it. So that brings us to your single, Hell Raising Kind of Heaven. You wrote this? Yeah, uh, I wrote Hell Raising Kind of Heaven. It was about a dirt racing track that's by my house. 
we can hear it every Saturday night rumbling across the road. And I decided to go one night and literally depicts it, the song depicts the whole scene. Hillbillies, bent cats, everybody hanging out, having a good time. And uh, I'm not going to play that one, though. I'm going to play one that is perfect for this weather. Okay. And it's, it, we're going to release as the second single. So I wanted to introduce everybody to it. It is a fun, fun summer song. And it's called Sticky Southern Summer. Sticky Southern Summer. I'm going to get out of the way and let uh, our fellow member of the KISS Army, Olivia Rose, <laughs> play her song for you right here at kicks96country.com. Southern summer. It's a tongue twister. It's a tongue. I'm sorry. I, like, I don't want to say the wrong thing in the wrong order. I'm just gonna. I like. What was it? Sticky southern summer. You got. Okay, it. just making sure that. Okay, <laughs> just make sure that I didn't leave a word out. Uh, but uh, obviously, her music is unique to her, and it sounds great. It's uh, it's tempo. It's perfect for the for this time of year, like you said, like the weather outside. Of course, the single is "Hell Raising Kind of Heaven." Now, oh, yeah. your music is available at your is your, at your website. Yeah, uh, OliviaRoseMusic.com, mm -hmm. and you can go to Facebook, Twitter. Facebook is Olivia Rose Official, and you know, there's so many social sites out there. I know that I'll be linking up with you right after this video, so I well, know you can get it from We're already them. members of the KISS Army. We're connected. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, question is, are you, who, who's your favorite? Jean. God of Thunder, man. Yes, you got to. God I remember my first concert was a Kiss concert, mm -hmm. 
and I was painted as Gene Simmons. I had leather pants, uh, or leopard pants, leather boots. I was the whole nine yards. Now, see, we can see, we can see there, we can talk kids all day long, you know, and that could actually be fun to do for your next visit to Kansas. Oh, Kansas. yeah, sounds you, great. You gonna come back? Yes, I can't wait. Thank you guys for having me. All right, if you want to hear the her single, uh, uh, Hell Raising County Heaven, make sure you call us at Kicks96. We'll play it for you. And make sure that you get by OliviaRoseMusic.com. Find out where she's playing, where she's going to be, how you can get to see her and get uh, your hands on some of this music. Olivia, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. I can't wait to come back. All right, we'll see you next time right here on another artist video blog at Kicks96Country.com.